Australia is the world's largest island and the smallest continent, a place where over 80% of its wildlife can't be found anywhere else on Earth. From deserts to rainforests to stunning coastlines, this land consistently surprises you. But did you know it's also slowly moving upwards? Here's why Australia's geography is so unique. Australia's uniqueness begins with its isolation. About 180 million years ago, Australia was part of the supercontinent Gondwanda, positioned alongside up against what would become Antarctica, Africa, and South America. But then, in a remarkable geological shift, it broke away and drifted north. This solo journey lasted millions of years, turning Australia into nature's own laboratory. This isolation allowed life to evolve in ways seen nowhere else on Earth. It's why 87% of Australia's mammals, 93% of its reptiles, and 94% of its frogs are found only in Australia. It's a land where mammals lay eggs, where birds laugh instead of sing, and where trees shed their bark instead of their leaves. Take the platypus, for example. When European naturalists first encountered this creature, they thought it was an elaborate hoax, a mammal with a duck's bill that lays eggs. The isolation didn't just affect the wildlife. It helped shape the entire ecosystem, from the soil microbes to the plant life. This is why Australia forests look and behave differently from forests elsewhere in the world. The eucalyptus trees that dominate many Australian landscapes are a perfect example. Australia's geography is a study in extremes. Let's start with the coast. Off the northeast coast lies the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system. This underwater metropolis stretches over 1,400 miles and is so massive it's visible from space. It's home to over 1,500 species of fish, 400 species of hard coral, and countless other marine creatures. The Great Barrier Reef isn't just a natural wonder. It's a complex ecosystem that plays a crucial role in the health of our oceans. It acts as a nursery for many fish species, helps protect the coastline from storms and erosion, and is a vital part of the global marine ecosystem. But travel inland and you'll find a dramatically different world. The Australian outback covers 70% of the continent. It's a vast, arid expanse where red sand stretches as far as the eye can see. At its heart lies Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, a massive sandstone monolith that rises 1,095 feet above the surrounding desert. Uluru is a sacred site for the Aboriginal people and a geological wonder. The rock you see is just the tip of the iceberg. Most of the Uluru's bulk is hidden underground, like an iceberg in a desert. The juxtaposition of lush coastal areas and arid interior is due to Australia's unique climate patterns. The Great Dividing Range, a mountain chain running along the east coast, blocks most air from the Pacific Ocean from reaching the interior. But don't be fooled. The outback isn't just an empty wasteland. It's home to a surprising diversity of life, from hardy desert plants to animals that have evolved incredible adaptations to survive in this harsh environment. Take the thorny devil, a lizard that can absorb water through its skin or the desert oak tree which can survive for months without rain. While other continents have been shaped by relatively recent geological events, much of Australia has remained largely unchanged for millions of years. In fact, Australia is home to some of the oldest exposed rock formations on Earth. Take the Pilbara region in Western Australia. Here, you can find rocks that are 3.6 billion years old. That's more than three quarters of the Earth's entire history. This geological stability has had profound effects on Australia's landscape. Without recent mountain building events, much of Australia is remarkably flat. The average elevation is just 1,085 feet above sea level, making it the lowest continent on Earth. This flatness has significant implications for Australia's climate and ecosystems. It allows weather systems to move across the continent with little obstruction, contributing to the extreme weather events that Australia often experiences, from severe droughts to widespread flooding. No discussion of Australia's uniqueness would be complete without mentioning its wildlife. Australia is the land of marsupials, mammals that carry their young in pouches. While marsupials once roamed all continents, they now thrive almost exclusively in Australia. Kangaroos, perhaps Australia's most iconic animals, are a perfect example of how isolation shaped evolution. These creatures evolved to hop as an efficient way to cover large distances in the arid interior. A red kangaroo can leap up to 25 feet in a single bound and reach speeds of 35 miles per hour. Australia's climate is as unique as its wildlife. It's a land where fire and flood are not just disasters, but integral parts of the ecosystem. 
Many Australian plants have evolved to not just survive wildfires, but to require them for reproduction. The banksia, for instance, only releases its seeds after its cone has been burned. These fire-adapted ecosystems make Australia prone to bushfires, which can be devastating but are also a natural part of the landscape cycle. At the same time, parts of Australia are subject to massive flooding events. The Channel Country in Queensland can transform from a parched landscape to an inland sea during rare flood events, with floodwaters covering an area the size of England and Wales combined. This cycle of extremes, from prolonged droughts to sudden deluges, has shaped Australia's geography and wildlife in unique ways. It's led to the evolution of plants and animals that can withstand long periods without water, then take full advantage when it finally arrives. The Murray-Darling Basin, Australia's largest river system, is a perfect example of how this cycle impacts the landscape. During dry periods, much of the basin can appear almost desert-like. But when the rain comes, it transforms into a network of rivers, wetlands, and floodplains teeming with life. Humans have also played a role in shaping Australia's unique geography. The Aboriginal people, who have inhabited the continent for at least 65,000 years, developed sophisticated land management practices that significantly influenced the landscape. Their use of controlled burning, for example, helped create the mosaic of habitats that characterize much of Australia today. This practice, known as fire stick farming, promoted biodiversity and helped prevent the massive, uncontrolled wildfires that can occur in unmanaged landscapes. The Aboriginal people's deep connection to the land has also left its mark in other ways. Sacred sites like Uluru are not just geological formations, but integral parts of Aboriginal culture and spirituality. Understanding this connection is crucial to fully appreciating Australia's unique geography. In more recent times, European settlement has brought rapid changes to Australia's geography. The introduction of non-native species like rabbits and cane toads has had profound impacts on the native ecosystems. Urban development and agriculture have also significantly altered the landscape, particularly in the more fertile coastal regions. These changes have created new challenges for Australia's unique ecosystems. Conservation efforts are now a crucial part of managing Australia's geography, balancing the needs of a modern nation with the preservation of its unique natural heritage. Here's another fascinating fact. Australia is on the move. The continent is drifting northward at a rate of almost three inches per year. While this might not sound like much, over millions of years, it has significant implications. As Australia moves closer to the equator, its climate is gradually changing. The continent's becoming more tropical, which could lead to shifts in weather patterns and ecosystems over time. This ongoing journey is a reminder that Australia's geography is not static, but continually evolving. This northward movement also has implications for plate tectonics. As Australia moves, it's slowly colliding with the Pacific and Eurasian plates. This collision is causing the formation of new mountains in places like Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. In millions of years, Australia might look very different from how it does today. If you think Australia is the only continent with such a unique geography, then you are mistaken. You need to learn about South Africa's geography too. It's even more fascinating than Australia. Check out our video about why South Africa's geography is so unique to learn more.